Hi, I'm Brian Crombie, and we're going to be talking on The Brian Crombie Show. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, business, and social issues on The Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Good evening and welcome to the Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. I have the honor of uh, bringing to you every uh, week interesting people and topics that I think are topical uh, uh, for you to consider. And, uh, you know, we've been going through a strange time in the last while and, and it's, uh, you know, a, a time in the spring, any time that we're also thinking about what we're going to do around the house. And, and so whether we're at the house because we're forced to be at the house or whether we're at the house because it's uh, springtime and we're thinking about uh, what we should be doing around the house, I thought it would be really helpful to chat with someone that uh, is in the real estate business and is an expert at getting homes ready um, for for sale, for rental, for springtime, for living in, because I think a lot of us are stuck around the house right now a little bit more than we normally would be. And, and so I want to introduce you to Chantal Chasse, who is a, a real estate broker with Remax uh, in West Toronto, uh, specializing in Milton, Oakville, uh, Mississauga area. Uh, but also she does a lot of staging for, uh, for houses and, uh, and consults with people on what to do to get their houses ready for sale. Uh, Chantal, thank you for, uh, for joining us uh, tonight. I just want to say thank you very much for having me in during this very difficult time and right now there's a lot of uncertainty in this market especially being in the spring market now I've been working with a lot of clients trying to prep their houses for sale and right now like people don't know what to do like during this difficult time should we put it on the market because we've been a very active market there hasn't been a lot of inventory on there's been a lot of multiple offers hold back and um, with all this going on in the world people are like what do we do so let's 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 not focus on the market because yes. you're right you know, I, I think there is a fair amount of uncertainty. The stock market's up and down on a fairly uh, regular basis, and the real estate market's going to be like that. But if you're at home and you got some time, and maybe you're going to sell, maybe you rent, or maybe you just want to do the right stuff to improve the value of your home so that you can live in it yourself, what are the things that are most valued by buyers and the things that you think uh, are the make the most sense to do? Well, right now, I think you should be t like looking after the things that you want to do. Like everybody has a to-do list. When we get busy and then we get slowed down, everyone's like, okay, we want to declutter the house, we want to get rid of the old stuff when we bring in the new stuff, right? So right now I think that people should use this time to do things that are going to get them value, especially if they're thinking of selling in the next couple of weeks, like going outside, raking the lawn, getting rid of all the leaves, and painting, decluttering the closets, decluttering your cupboards, and doing the things that you wouldn't normally do, but if you decide to list in a month or month and a half time you're going to be ahead of what you want to do because everybody feels good when they declutter right so uh, declutter what do you mean by declutter well decluttering is like getting rid of the stuff that you don't need maybe to give it to someone that will need it in the future like ex like old clothing right everybody likes to shop but we never get rid of the stuff the old stuff the old stuff like we always have like our favorite 10 t-shirts but then we keep 20 t-shirts just in case our 10 favorite t-shirts and we never use it so we go into our closets and we're like oh we got new stuff, but we still have old stuff. So it's a good time just to get rid of that so, stuff. So I did have a staging person come to my house. Uh, and this person was suggesting decluttering that I thought was like moving out. Uh, they were suggesting taking almost everything that I valued out of the house. All personal mementos and pictures yeah. and, uh, and like everything. In, and the house in the end would be... Barren. Because sometimes when you have too much stuff, you can't enjoy the, the things. Like if you recycle the stuff that you have and you keep everything in a corner, but if you take the stuff and you reuse it in different rooms, then you can appreciate it more than if you have just stuff everywhere. Because when there's a lot of stuff everywhere, you can't really appreciate what you have. So recycling the stuff and getting rid of the stuff that's weighing you down makes your life a little bit okay, easier. Okay, are there any you know, suggestions you've got on how to do that? For an example, uh, this uh, staging person uh, uh, you know, said, uh, if you haven't worn it in two years, get rid of it. Yes, so pretty well. If you haven't worn it in two years, if you haven't touched it in six months, I just say get rid of it. You can put it away and you can bring it back out, but when you get rid of stuff, it makes you feel good. And, so just and, get rid and, of it. And where do you get rid of it? Just throw it out? Do you take it to a consignment no, shop? You uh, no, there's a lot of consignment stores right now that do like even resale stores. You can put it on the internet. You can sell it and make some money because there's a lot of places like Kijiji. 
right there's marketplaces on facebook where you can advertise stuff and people will even come and pick it up you don't have to do anything you just advertise it they pay for you put on your front porch and they come and get it so and there's companies out there now that if you have a lot of furniture you don't need it like a state so they'll come and they'll sell it for you really yes okay they also said i'm not allowed to have more than four shoes at the front door no, no, no. Why? Because it's overwhelming. When you walk into a house, you're like, okay, this person doesn't have any closet space, so you have all your shoes like spread out the front door. It's I've like, never well, had no less storage. than four shoes at the front door. It's usually multiples of that. Well, that's what I mean. Because you, you just think of everything. It's like, no, 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 no. Okay. Put it away. Put okay. it away. Then okay, you'll so appreciate it more. So declutter is number one. Yes. And the rules there are anything that you haven't worn in two years or used in six months, get rid of. Or you still have tags on it. Get rid of it. Because you self tax, so you bought it but you haven't used it. Yes, and I actually uh, I have lots of clothes that I self tax on. <laughs> so you got to get rid of them. I do, yes, and I do get rid of my stuff. It feels good. It feels good when I go through my closet and I can see everything. It makes you know, you just it, you okay. Feel lighter. So I have I have suits that come back in style. Can't I keep the suits that are old and come back in style? Well, you can maybe pick your top five suits and get rid of the fifteen that you don't wear because I'm sure somebody else would appreciate it more as well. Okay, and what about ties? Ties, same thing. Uh, Why do you need a thousand ties? Because I like ties. I like changing up my ties. Yeah, it's okay to change them out, but you okay, know. Okay, so declutter your, number one. De so, declutter. so after declutter, what's the next thing? You gotta. You're saying uh, um, clean up the yard. So that's obvious. Yeah. We gotta clean up the yard. Clean up the yard, declutter, um, and just. And then um, you said paint. Paint. Painting is money in a can. So people don't realize. What? Money paint is money in, in a can. can. That's a nice it's line. Money in a can. You should work for. <laughs> something Williams or something like that. That's a great line. Yeah, because when you put paint on something, you can make something old look new again, right? You can change up the style. You can change up the error that you put it in just by painting it. Chalk paint. There's lots of different kinds of chalk paint that you can buy at craft What's stores. What's chalk paint? Chalk paint is where you don't have to do a lot of prepping to the furniture. So if you have a piece of furniture where you want to strip it down or you want to paint it, you have to do a lot of prep to work. With chalk paint, you can just go over what you have. So it just and half an okay, hour. Okay, so you're talking about painting furniture. furniture. I thought you meant painting Pink walls. walls too, and cabinets. People love white cabinets, different cabinets. So painting cabinets is a big thing now. Okay, so I've got old kitchen cabinets that are uh, brown uh, yes. or beige or something. I don't even know what color they are. And someone came in and told me I should um, take the doors off and paint them all white. Yes. Really? Yeah, so there's companies now that actually come into your property, come into your kitchen, and they will take all the cabinet doors off. They will paint what you have remaining, and they will take the cabinet doors to their shop and spray them down so they look like they're professionally painted. And it's about, depending on the size kitchen you have, if you have a regular size kitchen, 15 by 15, it's gonna cost you maybe $6,000 total to do that if you get brand new countertops. But if you were to go in and put a brand new kitchen in there, it'd be like twenty-five to $40,000. Okay, and so, so the question that people always ask, will I get my money out? So if I you put $6,000 in yeah. painting my, my kitchen, you think I'll get $6,000 more for my house? Oh, absolutely. Well, kitchens and bathrooms is where you spend your money and that's where you get the most return so if you can have someone come in and make your bathroom look brand new just by doing like a paint job to your cabinets and adding molding and that kind of stuff it's you know you're winning so i, I gotta tell you I, I i was shocked by this uh um i had a, a house that had an old uh, jacuzzi tub mm -hmm. and uh and and they were redoing the washroom what they did is they painted yeah the tub yeah i didn't even know you could paint a tub and they painted from an old beige to a white color and it looks spectacular as a white tub. Well, you know what I did two years ago? So I have a property that had pink brick on the front and I did a massive renovation on my house. I took off the roof and added a second story and I did not like my pink brick. But in Europe, it's really big to stain brick where if you have an area where they have to um, like put a window or a door. Sorry, stain brick? Stain brick. How not do you paint stain it, brick? But stain it. Never you, heard of that. Yeah, it's big in Europe. Um, not big here, so I actually use stain. So I went and bought stain, I researched it, and then you prep the, the brick, you spray it all down, you um, use a power washer, and then you t take the stain and you touch the brick and it just expands. So I went brick by brick and I actually made my house look like stone. Really? But and, I stained and, and, it. And sorry, what's, what is the stain? Oh, it's a stain that I've got from a company um, in Milton, Bergsmas. But it's it's just a it's a stain for for um, for brick from yeah so not like masonry. a stain for wood but no it's, it's a, a masonry stain but you can use it as on wood as well but it's a masonry stain and it's like water it's like water it's like the consistency it's water it's not like paint and 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 just out of interest what would it cost to stain a a brick house so depending on like the surface if you have um, just the front half of your house I it's about five thousand dollars for someone to come in and do it but I did it for about. 
eight hundred dollars with my time and labor really yeah fantastic well we're chatting yeah. uh, tonight with Chantal Chasse who is a broker with Remax in uh, in West Toronto about what to do with your house now that you've got some time at home and uh, and or you know even if you got to find some time at home uh, and uh, and we're gonna take a break and come back and talk a little bit more about uh, what to do to get your house ready for sale and or just to live in and enjoy it more Stay with us. GTA.com is organizing a human resources conference and a mega job fair on May 25th, 2020 at the Delta Hotels by Marriott Toronto Airport and Conference Center 655 Dixon Road, Toronto. It's one of the biggest HR events in the GTA with an expected attendance of over 1,000 qualified candidates. It will be a great opportunity for the employers to recruit and connect with potential job seekers. This will also be an amazing platform to engage with the industry experts and for employers to showcase their brand. If you are an employer in the GTA, don't miss out on this great opportunity and reserve your booth now. For further information or bookings, please call us at 437-266-2065 or send us an email at events at jobsingta.com. Buying or selling a residential or commercial property is one of the biggest financial decisions most people will make in their life. The real estate lawyers at Alum Law Chambers will guide you through the complete real estate laws to ensure your transaction completes on time and your dreams come true. Reliable and affordable Alum Law. to build this business. Now, how can I protect it from creditors and minimize estate taxes? My family depends on my income. What if critical illness, disability, or premature death happens to me? How will they survive? For over 18 years, Zahid Syed of Arush Financial has been giving business owners and professionals sound advice on tax reduction, life and health insurance, and estate planning strategies. Act now. I can help. عالمی تجارت کا نیا مرکز گوادر گوادر کا بائت ماد ادارہ نیو ویجن گروپ آپ کو دے مستقبل کی قیمتی سرمایہ کاری کا سنہری موقع امریکہ اور کینیڈا میں رہتے ہوئے سرمایہ کاری اور بھی آسان گوادر ماسٹر پلین کی اہم اور قیمتی لوکیشن گوادر کی مرکزی شہرہ اور زیرو پائنٹ پر واقعہ ساحل سمندر سے قریب ترین سو دو سو تین سو گز کے رہائشی تجارتی پلوٹ ایک اکڑ دو اکڑ کے انڈسٹریل پلوٹ نہایت مناسب قیمت اور مہانہ آسان ایک ساتھ میں ابھی اپنے پلوٹ بک کروائیں مزید معلومات کے لیے رابطہ فرمائیں 
एयर विंग्स ट्रेवल एंड टूर्स नॉर्थ अमेरिका की सबसे बायतमान और फास्टेस्ट एयर ट्रेवल सर्विसेज 25 साल का तजर्बा लिए लातादाद अफोर्डेबल ट्रेवल डील्स के साथ एक्सेलेंस इन कस्टमर सर्विसेज ऑन जस्ट वन फोन कॉल ये है एयर विंग्स ट्रेवल एंड टूर्स फॉर बुकिंग कॉल नाउ वन एट फाइव फाइव टू फोर सेवन नाइन फोर सिक्स फोर और नाइन ओ फाइव टू सेवन टू टू थ्री जीरो जीरो एयर विंग्स ट्रेवल एंड टूर्स अगर आपका कोई भी कार एक्सीडेंट होता है तो आपको एक बेहतरीन लॉयर की जरूरत होती है और हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं चैंपियन डेविड हिमोफार्ब हाई आई एम डेविड हिमोफार्ब मैनेजिंग पार्टनर ऑफ हिमोफार्ब प्रजेंसकी एल एल पी We are personal injury lawyers in Toronto, Brampton, all over the GTA, and we speak your language. We have a wonderful uh, community liaison, Anjum Qureshi. If there is any car accident, call us at four one six five seven zero zero one five seven. GTA Real Estate Investments. Pre-construction or resale. Consult trusted realtors. Get first access and incentives. Contact Khalid Aziz or Mashud Khalid, six four seven eight six five two nine four nine. Hi, I'm Brian Crombie, and we're going to be talking on the Brian Crombie Show. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, business, and social issues on the Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Back to the Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. We're chatting tonight with uh, Chantal Chasse, who is a broker with uh, Remax uh, in West Toronto, Milton, Mississauga, Oakville, uh, Georgetown, etc. Um, and uh, not talking about the market because I know that's uh, something that uh, people are concerned about, but uh, that's uh, not something we're focused on tonight. What we're talking about is if you got some time at home, whether it's because you've been told to stay home uh, for coronavirus or uh, just because uh, you're at home, uh, what are the things that you can do at the around the house to get ready? For the spring, um, and uh, and you know one of the things Chantal that I found uh, is that um, just working around the house is actually quite relaxing. It's uh, quite rewarding. Uh, working in the garden, um, you know, I love uh, fires in the backyard, and yeah. so cleaning up the brush and having a fire um, on a nice sunny day is incredibly relaxing. You know, raking up all the leaves and taking it out to the front uh, driveway, and so so some of these things are things that increase the value and need to get done, but they also can be wonderful ways to reconnect with nature. Exactly, and it's good stress reliever. Like I love myself working in a garden, like creating. Just something that's going to look beautiful when you start it in May and June, and appreciating it through the months of June, July, as well as September and October, and doing it as a family. Because if you have children, they getting your kids involved and in doing gardening around the house or just doing things around the house shows like just it's great family time and it's great bonding. So that's one of my favorite things to do in the summer, in the spring and fall is just doing it with the kids. Doing them with kids, okay. So let's come back to painting. Okay. Um, so uh, you know, I'm not. Terribly artistic. Uh, I like to believe I am, but I'm not. Uh, and so, how does one go pick um, the colors for paints for kitchens and washrooms and and rooms? How do, how do you do that? Well, right now, like if you go into a like a st any kind of home hardware and kind of store, they have a lot of like f people that specialize in picking paint colors. Um, but I like picking paint colors, so you can ask like, if you're working with a real estate agent or someone that's doing decor, they, you can always ask them what the in colors are of 2020, or 2020, sorry. Um, you can go on Pinterest, you can go on Instagram, there's a lot of apps out there that will help you to keep you in line of what like kind of color scheme is going to be in style for the next couple of years. So. No, I've seen you and some other people um, post a bunch of pictures of, uh, uh, I don't know whether it's on Instagram or Pinterest or whatnot, of, of kitchens and bathrooms that uh, that you like. Is that something that people should do? Just check out on Pinterest or Instagram? Yeah, absolutely. Just go on Instagram and, and see what you like. See what you like, right? Because everybody go copy it. Basically, yeah. Copy what you like. Okay. Right? So. What about windows? Should we be changing out windows? Yes, windows, windows, windows. And actually, changing out windows and changing the color scheme of windows will create a Different curb what do you appeal mean your the, house. What do you mean the color scheme of windows? Well, right now there's a lot, there's like different colors. You can go beige, beige frames. You can do white frames or black frames. So depending on what color brick you have or stonework, 
if you pick a black, it will pop out and it will change so again, the curvature of your house. So again, I've got old beige wooden frames. Yes. What do you think I should be doing? Black, black frames. Black frames. Black frames. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because right now, right, really what's in is a lot of black accents, black light um, fixtures, black hardware, anything on white and gray that black pops. Okay. But maybe in the next three years, it'll be gold. Gold will be back in style so or chrome. So it sounds like uh, decorating homes is fashionable, just like clothes are fashionable. Pretty much. Really? Yeah. So the other thing I've noticed is people are painting their doors. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why painting a door? Because you got to have your doors stand out. Your garage doors have to blend into your house. But your front door is like, I don't know, it's, it's like when you look, it's like the lipstick on, on a female, right? It just has to pop. It has to pop. It has to pop. Really? So the yeah. front door is like the lipstick on a female. That's what I say. Yeah, okay. it's the first thing you see, right? right. So. What about, um, you know, I've seen some people have an incredible knack of organizing interesting stuff on mantles. And oh, other yes. people have got tons of knickknacks on yes. mantles. What do, what do you do? Like, are mantles better um, completely uh, empty or with knickknacks or with like flowers? Well, it all depends on your style, right? So it all comes down to personal style. Some people like pictures, some people like decor, some people like knickknacks. So right, like you have to have a symmetry though and just have balance with everything. If you're gonna decorate, just learn to come down in a balanced line. What do you mean by that? Well, it's okay to have stuff, but just not to have stuff everywhere. You have to make sure that it just balances out. You can have stuff, but not stuff everywhere. Just scattered everywhere. Yeah, you have to have a nice symmetry of things lined up. Okay. And then, um, you know, I, I used to have books lying around and people complained about the books lying ah, around. Books and then someone great. else came in and just organized the books. So there yes. were still books lying around. They were just a little bit more organized and that looked okay for some reason. Books are great. I think that you, it's just a personal preference style. Like the things that you like are the things that you should have around you. You shouldn't just like, things make you feel good, but decorating with them, you shouldn't get rid of them because people are saying you shouldn't have that. You just learn to decorate them and use them in your everyday life. Okay, what about uh, roofs? Change roofs or not? Too big of an expense. Rooms? Roofs. Roofs. Roofs? No, absolutely not. So I, I actually did, um, on my property, I took the roof off my property and I created uh, a master bedroom with 13 foot ceilings. So just having like different peaks and different lines. So when you go traveling all over the world, there's like different cathedral ceilings and it just makes you feel more alive. Like I love a master bedroom that has, like my master bedroom has big high ceilings. When I wake up every morning, I look up and I go, wow, the sky's the limit, right? So just whatever makes you feel good. Okay, what about window dressings? Personal preference. Some people like clean lines just to keep the light out and some people like pattern. So it all depends. Like I myself, I have the light being hidden as well as draperies around it to bring in, to bring up my style. Right. So it's just personal style, personal preference. Okay. What about upholstery? Um, yes, I think upholstery is good. Um, so but I've got my favorite chair that I read in all the time, but I'm knowing, noticing that it's getting uh, ripped in a couple of places. Should I get rid of it or can I reupholster it or just get a little cover for it or what? No, if it's your favorite chair, get it redone. Get, get it, it redone. redone. Yeah. There's actually a lot of companies that do that now. Where does one get that? Oh. Um, Tons of companies. Uh, there's a company in Milton Mall that advertises every day I go by, they refinish furniture and recover everything. So um, there's still companies that do that. But if you like it, if it's your favorite thing, do it. Like I love to refinish fur furniture because it has a special meaning to me. Um, so I take a, uh, a piece of, I don't know, uh, whatever couch or table or side table that someone else throws out. Like I actually find pieces of furniture. Like sometimes I go out yard sale shopping or to vintage what? stores. What? Chantal Chasse? I do. I love it. Yard sale shopping. I, I don't do. believe it. I do. And you find a piece of art that's like, wow, you can turn that into something magnificent just by being creative. So I like finding something that needs help and bringing it back to life and putting now, it in Now, um, you're a real estate agent, yes. real estate broker, and you provide uh, a lot of these services uh, for people with yes. uh, the staging and whatnot. Do most brokers provide this or do they go out and get uh, independent stagers to come and help people? No, everybody does things differently. They Some people hire their own stagers. Some people um, have their clients go out and find their own people that they refer them to. But uh, me, myself, I, liked, I like doing it and I find it an art. So most of my clients get the benefit of having me come in. And then most of the time after I sell their house, they'll have me come in and I pick the paint colors. The for their new house. For their new house, yeah. Oh, really? Many, many clients do that, yeah. So yeah. let's go through the list. So, so number one uh, is declutter. Declutter. Number two is uh, clean up the yard. Clean up the yard. Number three is think about paint, paint. in the kitchen and in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, number five, I guess, is cabinets. Uh, number six would be... We're just bringing in pieces of furniture 
to make your make the home feel like a home. Make it feel like a home, and then Went you've got uh, uh, windows. You say, yeah, then you've got. And, and what was your line on uh, on uh, on the doors? It's the like the lipstick. The lipstick on, on a female. And, make uh, it stand and paint, out. And paint is money in, in a, a can. Money in a can. Money I love those can. lines. Uh, and then uh, garage has to blend in, but the the, the that's not uh, the same rule for the front door. And then mantles, not a lot of stuff. But a little bit of stuff, and it's got to be balanced. That's right, balanced. And, and then yeah. get rid of the the rip in my uh, my favorite chair. That's right. That's cover right. it up. You can cover it up with a throw blanket if you don't want to go out and get it recovered. There's lots of ways: throw blankets, okay. throw oh, pillows. Yeah. What else? Anything else I need to do before I list my house? Um, just make sure that it looks clean and fresh, and there's nothing left unseen. Because the buyer doesn't want to come into the property and go, "Oh, I have to spend money here." After, so just fix the little things that you find annoying. Right. Like if there's a handle that's broken on a cabinet or a door or a ripped in a carpet, just get it fixed. Right? Don't let the the next uh, buyer have to deal with all the annoying things that you didn't want to do. And or walk around and see it and, and take a you know a little bit off the price here and there. Exactly. Because the, the house isn't up to up to shape. Up to shape. Yeah. Okay. What about appliances? Change appliances or let that uh, be the new guy? Well, that's 50-50 because I always find that appliances are very very personal personal because now they have some really cool fridges out there where you can just like walk by the fridge and you touch it and you can talk to it and it'll play music for you. Where some people would want the high tech. Right, and some people will not. So I always say appliances, as long as they're not white, if they're stainless steel and they're kind of modern, then it's okay. But I always say sell it with the property. Don't go up and don't go and spend a lot of money because someone coming in there will be picky and buy their own. Right. Okay. So. Well, Chantal Chasse, um, real estate broker, Remax uh, Milton. Uh, thank you very much for joining us tonight on the Brian Crabby Show. Thank you. Um, you know, this is a strange time, and uh, and we're at home a little bit more than. Uh, than usual, which I think is good. Uh, and, uh, you know, find some time for yourself, but also find some time for your home. And this is a great time to invest in your home in some ways that we wouldn't maybe typically do, uh, whether it's uh, just to make it more livable for yourself or whether it's to get ready for sale. And I think Chantal has got some great suggestions on uh, where to focus your time. So take this time and enjoy your family and, uh, and clean up your home. Thanks very much. Good night.